What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot. I'm so fucking excited to be here tonight because it's a free smoke reading. Y'all know I ain't had one since Mike. For those who are new to what a free smoke reading is, let me let you know, okay? In the convent, I don't tolerate disrespect. I don't mind people's opinions, their dislikes, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, right? But when motherfuckers start talking shit and being disrespectful, then I got a problem with it, right? So a free smoke reading is basically a pro bono reading on the disrespectful motherfucker, right? We're going to find out what's up with this motherfucker. Why they feel like they got to come in the convent and be disrespectful. We'll see what, what happened with their life, okay? So again, this is not a divine masculine, divine feminine reading. We are just about to talk shit about Pam Smith, okay? This is air quote Pam Smith because I don't even believe this this bitch name. This bitch got keyboard courage like a motherfucker, right? Um, so you guys do know that I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do Pam get the same treatment like Mike did in Patoka, right? All my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit, even with punk ass Pam, right? Um, I do pre-shuffle, lay the cards out. So Pam has some questions, right? If y'all saw just a little excerpt in the beginning. So Pam wanted to know why my fingernails were dirty. Well, for, first of all, Pam. When you count money, bitch, your fingernails get dirty. That's the first thing, bitch. Number two, I was pushing the weed down in my, in my bowl. Not that I owe you any explanations, but fuck a bitch ass. And you know I'm here to fucking oblige, ho. Right? You approach the throne, I'm here to let you know, bitch. I was packing the ashes down in my bowl. So yeah, my fingernails get dirty. I know the only time you see dirt under your fingernails is when you scratch your neck. But some of us count money and smoke weed and, and actually do real work. And that's what makes your fingernails dirty. That's the first thing, okay? You wanted to know I was drinking out of a mayo jar? Boo, it's a mason jar, not a mayo jar, okay? It's not a miracle whip jar. I know you're used to catching fucking fireflies in the back of your trailer home and shit, bitch, and mayo jars, bitch. But I don't drink out of mayo jars. That's a mason jar, okay? Second of all, you spelled not wrong. You spelled I am not K N O. T, a divine feminine, right? Hooked on phonics works for me. I'm sure it'll work for you. Maybe, maybe it will. But the knot that you spelled are the ones that I will put upside your head if we ever meet in person. Those are the knots that you spelled. Okay, that's number three. My cards are dusty, bitch, because I use them often, bitch. Again, it's called work. So I'm sure you don't understand that, okay? They get dusty and dirty like fingers and hands get dirty when people do work. Dusty, bitch. You're the dusty one. The bullshit on my table, I know since you didn't see crack pipes and meth pipes and, and, and roach feces and shit like that, these are candles, okay? These are candles. This is a picture. These are orchids, lights, cards, okay? Tablecloth, lace, okay? All right. And I think I addressed the fake ass wannabe. Well, everybody know I ain't no fake ass divine feminist, so I don't really have to address that. The not part was funny, though. Like, <laughs> that part was funny. Anyway, back to punk ass Pam, right? I hope I addressed all your questions, Pam, okay? So I want to know what was up with Pam, right? Like, why is this bitch so bent on just coming to the convent and starting trouble, right? Ch -ch, right? We had to break out the shotgun on this bitch. First of all, let me just let y'all know, Pam is one of them bitches that, like, has to sit down all the time. I don't know if the bitch got to hover around or she just one of them bitches in the grocery store that got a constant basket. You know them people in the grocery store that got that basket on their shit and it's, like, motorized? That's Pam. Everything that then came out for Pam, she's sitting the fuck down. Either she in the fucking hover round or Pam is just a lazy ass, round, rotund bitch, okay? No disrespect to my beautiful round women out there, but we talking about punk ass Pam, right? Pam, Pam have on the same damn sweatpants all damn week. This is Pam, okay? Just so y'all know. Anyway, back to Pam, okay? So I feel like Pam could have been probably some, a looker back in the heyday, like keyword heyday back in Pam's heyday but that was back then or Pam is like the dude in Silence of the Land making the divine feminine skin suit and shit it rubs the lotion on the skin or else it gets the holes again right Pam is like seeing a whole nother this what do they call that uh body dysmorphia Pam sees herself in the mirror not how Pam looks y'all Pam is like beer goggles blind I'm just trying to unwind now why I'm right Eminem shit you gotta be drunk to even fuck Pam look at Pam or anything like anybody that fucks with Pam is on some shit look at the magician motherfucker then took everything that the damn dope man had to sell and shit just to fuck Pam okay it's gotta be a bad day to fuck Pam right I say all Pam does is sit because the bitch don't really do shit. She claim what she do is work at home, but I think all the bitch do is go on the internet and browse and 
watch TV. Like the bitch don't really move. Look at this motherfucker's hips. That's Pam, okay? Pam is like the mom in Eating Gilbert Grape where they had to bring the dinner table to the mama and shit. Pam can't get to the dinner table. They bring the dinner table to Pam and she stump her foot on the ground when she hungry and shit like she live at R. Kelly house. That type shit. This is Pam. So I really can't be mad at Pam because I really feel like Pam ain't mobile, right? So Pam wish she could get a dick in her mouth, right? But I feel like I ain't going to even go there, Pam. I was so about to talk shit about some other shit, but I'm going to stop because that ain't even got shit to do with that. But Pam wish she could get a dick in her mouth. You wish, Pam. But anyway, lovers with the child. So I don't know. It kind of looked like Pam could have really been in a relationship, even though pop, Pam has body dysmorphia, right? Pam sees herself as some beautiful queen, but this bitch looks like... I don't even know, yo. I don't even know. I just know Pam sits a lot, yo. Pam ass probably stinking got wet spots all on it. I ain't even lying. Pam got booty sweat. That's Pam. Pam fucking car seats stink when you get in Pam car. It smell like just ass, you know? That's Pam shit. Anyway, I feel like Pam did probably have somebody that she fucked with right back in the day. Somebody, but she was like hush puppy coleslaw onion ring. She was a karmic. Now she's nothing, right? She probably wishes she was a karmic, but the bitch sits so motherfucking much. Bitch, you got to get up to be a karmic too, Pam. You got to get up to do something. To, you even got to get up to get a dick put in your mouth, okay? Anyway, I feel like somebody dipped out on Pam. Either Pam got dipped out and got left with a, a baby and shit, right? Because the emperor was like, you pregnant? Pam, I thought that was just how you look all the time. All you do is sit and eat, right? The emperor didn't even know Pam was pregnant. But when he found out the emperor dipped out, right? He had no intentions of settling down with Pam in the first place. He left. He went to go be with his real divine feminine, Pam. Not N-O-T-U, okay? N-O-T-U, not you, okay? So now Pam just sits and shit and watches fucking QVC all day and buys shit on fucking TV and online and shit. That's all Pam does. She's on Amazon, QVC. She's watching Lisa Renna on them fucking, what is them little, where they sell them little suits and shit and little hams, canned hams. And she's buying Ninja Blenders and all that other shit. Pam don't do shit all motherfucking day, y'all. But stay on motherfucking line and sit her ass down in booty sweat. I ain't even lying. <laughs> Pam is a booty sweat ass bitch and people are scared of Pam. She came up with Jimi Hendrix, yo. And normally we would like Jimi Hendrix, right? But he's real eclectic, right? So if a motherfucker sat down all day and when they got up, all you saw was booty sweat stains and they talking about they the most beautiful person in the world, right? Because remember, Pam has body dysmorphia, right? You would think this motherfucker crazy if they chasing you around the damn Kroger market in a fucking motorized cart and shit. Yeah, motherfuckers think Pam crazy. She is. And she smell like Spam. I feel like Pam smell funny. Pam wears like a, Pam is one of the people that have a tight ass ponytail. It don't matter what race, but I feel like Pam is white, right? I do. I really do. I'm sorry. I don't know why, but that's just how I feel about Pam, right? Because she said mayo jar. Black people don't even really like mayonnaise, Pam, first of all. Mayonnaise is like an adhesive to black people. We only put just enough on the bread so the tomato stick, the cheese stick, or the lettuce stick. If it ooze out the side, bitch, it's way too much. So my jar of mayo wouldn't even be finished in time for me to use that motherfucker as a cup. That's why I know Pam ain't black, right? Because we don't say mayo, Pam, okay? Okay, Pam, okay? So let's see why Pam is trolling me. Nothing against all my different ethnicities. Y'all know I love y'all, but Pam want the smoke, Pam gonna get it. And I ain't talking about smoke brisket, Pam. Sit your ass down. We ain't talking about food, bitch. Well, you was already sitting. Sorry. Stand your ass up, Pam. You know what I'm saying? I know the doctor done told you to at least walk up the driveway at least a couple times a day, bitch. Get up. Move. You know what I'm saying? What you trying to get? Permanent atrophy and shit in your motherfucking weak ass ankles or cankles? What that dude say in Shallow Hell? He was like, you know what cankles are when the calf just merges into the ankle? That's Pam, y'all. So let's see why Pam was trolling the convent. What, what's the problem? What problem? What's your problem, Pam? What's the problem Pam got with me? I don't even know what sign Pam is. All I know, the only sign I know about Pam is that it says drive through open. That's the only sign I could pick up for Pam. So is that an astrology sign, Pam? Drive through open? Oh, okay. Eight of cups. So I don't know. Pam just lonely. I'm so lonely. Let's see where you coming from, Pam, because you left some bullshit to come over here and fuck up my shit because the tower at the bottom. So you left some shit like, oh, let me go see what the nun is doing and go fuck up her shit. Well, let's see where you came from, Pam. Well, where you rolled from, because I don't think you came from nowhere. I don't feel like you, you probably got the cleanest fucking tennis shoes this side of the Mississippi, bitch. I feel like your feet ain't seen concrete 
or anything in years. You know what I'm saying? I really do. I mean, even though this motherfucker walking and shit, but look, he got a stick. I told you the doctor said at least walk up and down the driveway a few times a week, Pam. He got a walking stick. This motherfucker putting in effort. I guarantee he got dirt under his fingernails, bitch, because he's doing something, okay? Only thing you got up under your female, I mean, your fingernails is Cheeto dust, bitch. That's all you got. So let's see where you came from. This is the fool and the four of pentacles. I don't feel like your ass came from nowhere. I feel like you sit, bitch. You dream about fucking moving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You dream about mobility, bitch. And I don't even feel like your mobility is like, I don't want nobody to get this reading twisted. Pam's mobility is not from fucking any type of handicap, nothing. Pam's mobility is from sausage, chorizo, eggs, potatoes, mounds of fucking yogurt, frozen yogurt. You know what I'm saying? With gummy bear top. That's, that's Pam shit. I ain't talking about somebody who got no fucking... You know what I'm saying? Elman and no shit. And Pam, if this ain't true, bitch, show your face, ho. Don't be putting that little green screen ass, whack ass, Facebook ass picture up there. Bitch, show your face. Everybody else in the convent, we ain't tripping. So, bitch, you approach the throne, bitch, at least show your face. You know what I'm saying? How you walk up to me backwards, bitch? Don't ever do that shit to me again or else it'll be another fucking free smoke reading, Pam. And I'm sure after this one, you ain't gonna want none. I guarantee it. Anyway, Pam ain't came from shit, right? Pam don't do shit. Pam dream all day and just sit there, though. Pam always, this Pam is one of them people that talk about what they gonna do and then don't ever do shit for pinnacles. What they gonna do, fool, don't ever do shit for pinnacles. So Pam just happened to come across me, right? Just browsing through the fucking internet. It wasn't like Pam was even looking for me, y'all. Pam was like Mike, you know what I'm saying? She was like, ooh, the light's on. Smells like bacon. Pam, there's no food here, bitch. There's nothing but spoken word in this bitch, right? Ain't no, it's spiritual. It's soul food here, Pam. We don't have, like I said, we don't sell brisket here, Pam, right? Concern came up with the fool. Like I told y'all, sitting. You see this man sitting, right? All Pam do is wonder about and think about doing shit. Pam is a lazy ass bitch. Pam don't do shit, y'all. That's it. I feel like I'm wasting time now on Pam because Pam don't do shit. And now she made me stop watching Empire and Star, right? So I could come up here and read fucking immobile ass Pam and shit. Pam, you lucky, bitch. Take a bow. Because I'm actually giving you some shine. Fucking, you want to be, not Beyonce, but Peyonce with all them pissy pants on. Shit, shining, 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 shining. Yeah. You welcome, Pam. All of this winning. Look, Pam don't do shit. Another motherfucker sitting. My cars don't lie to me. Pam, get the fuck up. This is how you feel every day. You know why? Because you don't do shit with your fucking life, bitch. You always talking about what the fuck you gonna do. I can't stand motherfuckers like you, right? That's why you didn't come on here with your fucking face showing and shit and use a Pam Smith, if that's even your really name, your name, Emobo Pam, right? I don't even feel like that's your name, bitch. All you do is sit the fuck down. You don't move. You don't do shit. What that, uh... In death around the corner, that Tupac saw. He don't work, he don't fuck, he don't do a hot damn thing, right? That's you, Pam. You don't. You long for dick in your mouth, right? If you stop fucking putting Polish sausages in it, maybe you would get a wiener in your mouth. A real one, right? With real built-in mayo, okay? You fucking trick. Anyway, got me all about my element. See, Pam, you didn't know the ghetto none. We on the ghetto part. None probably ain't really. None probably ain't really here. But the, there's no reason here why you trolling. There's none. You just a lazy ass bitch. Like basically, look, nothing. Pa look, sitting. <laughs> look at look at Pam sitting on the couch. A fucking kid, dude. Pam is the type of bitch that got a gang of workout equipment in her house and it's all dusty. Pam don't do shit, y'all. So Pam just trolling, like y'all said originally. But I just had to see what was up with Pam. And Pam, that's probably why you got, maybe you don't move because you got this body dysmorphia thinking that you look like the lady in this picture, but you don't. You don't, Pam. You maybe look like the dude in the picture with like 85 more pounds on them because they both sitting. So I do feel like you identify with these motherfuckers because they doing your favorite activity, bitch. Right? They fucking sitting. Wow. All right, Pam. <laughs> BDB. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh-oh, somebody flipped over. Who was that? One for Pam. Hank Williams. See, this is somebody. Remember I told y'all about that sly-ass smirk that Hank Williams has, right? When he ain't really doing shit, it's just something to antagonize people. So Pam, like I said, she got, she licks the Cheeto dust off her fingers, then types on her. I guarantee Pam's 
fucking fingernails are dirty and I don't even want to know what's under them. Probably duck butter. And bitch, you probably don't even know what that is, but if you Google it, I guarantee that's what's un- under your fucking fingernails. Anyway, Hank William, he just a, a sly, devious looking motherfucker. That's all. Like, look at him. No, no direction, nothing. Nothing in life. Just sitting there like, hmm, I know how to try to fuck up someone's life, right? Not me, though, Pam. You picked the right one tonight, bitch. You sure did. Got a whole damn segment dedicated to you, bitch. I'm trying to figure out how to, like, tag you directly. If anybody knows Pam, please let her know the nun is looking for her tonight. Okay. All right. Let's keep it moving. Why does Pam sit all the time? Because Pam ain't a uh, handicap. She ain't. So let's see why Pam likes to. I wonder if they Pam, you need to look for a job where they pay you to sit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm sure there's a job where they pay you to just sit and shit. Maybe like a sleep apnea study or some shit. Well, you got to lay there, but I'm sure you don't have no problems laying down or sitting, bitch. And you, the way you looking I feel like you a sleep apnea person I don't know I'm just picking up on that you got despair and concern I'm sure that happens every night when it's time to close your eyes (laughs) despair and concern sleeping sitting up and shit lay off the brisket Pam why does Pam like this look the chariot sitting right because Pam feel like everything can get done while you sitting down Right. This is the chariot successful because Pam thinks everything can be accomplished while sitting and shit. Pam think that you can wash your pussy while sitting down and get a good scrubbing in that asshole while you sitting down. Right. This is Pam. That's why. That's why. One on the chariot. Yeah. Imprisonment. Maybe Pam. Look, Pam, if you in a wheelchair, mm, sorry, not sorry. I'm only not sorry, bitch, because you need to watch who the fuck you approaching because this chair, he kind of do look like a wheelchair. So if you in a wheelchair, Pam, I'm going to let that shit go. But I knew you was a sitting motherfucker. I knew all the fuck you did was sit. Maybe you confined to this wheelchair imprisonment. Maybe that's what it is. So everybody done already laughed at you now, Pam. You know what I mean? God bless you for your ailment so I feel like maybe you are confined to a chair because that's what this is looking like but bitch don't never come to the motherfucking convent talking shit to me because I will pull your shit out my cars don't never lie to me people already don't like you Pam you know what I'm saying I'm gonna get off you sitting down I'm, but I ain't gonna get off you right but I'm gonna get off you sitting down because I feel like it ain't your motherfucker. it ain't my fault did I do that right I feel like you was just got some mystical shit that happened to you, G. And you probably don't know what that is because you fucking say mayo, okay? But mystical is a rapper, okay? At first, I thought this was the karmic, y'all. I really did. I thought this was my karmic, my dude's karmic, because it says zero subscribers. So this person purposely made a page to come on here and talk shit, right? It, Pam, if you ain't, if, if let's say Pam is confined to this chair, right? And this, and let's say this is, I don't know. I only want to say it's the karmic. I ain't going to put it out there, but I wouldn't put it past the bitch. But anyway, we going to roll with Pam, right? Pam, stop talking shit to motherfuckers while you confined in this chair. I feel like maybe now you angry and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you are confined in this chair. God always put something in here to make me stop going in on motherfuckers. Because bitch, you was about to get it if this motherfucking hover round didn't pop the fuck out, bitch. I swear to God. I already went in on your motherfucking ass, but just like Mike and Patoka and shit, motherfuckers got deeper issues than this. So let's see why you ended up in the chair, Pam. Because I wanted to know if you were really like why you were confined and you really are, but I want to know what happened to put you in the chair because I feel like that's where we going to start. So now we done laughed at you, bitch. Now we can figure out how to help that ass, right? What you need, bitch? What you need? Well, do you need a new, like, motor? Like, because I swear I'll hook that shit up for you. Like, the convent is real, bitch. Whatever you need, let me know. And that's on some real shit. I put that shit on my brother resting in peace, bitch. But don't come in here disrespectful. If you need a fucking friend, bitch, you can follow me on Instagram. We can follow each other, bitch. But I give you the same disrespect that you fucking give me, wheelchair or not, bitch. I'll meet you in the middle of the street in a wheelchair. We can hang- handle this shit like some handicapped gangster shit if you want to, bitch. I'll meet you on your level. Don't get it fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it fucked up. I worked in the hospital, so I get it about the whole handicap shit. That ain't no cause to be rude is what I'm saying, Pam. Okay? Five of Pentacles. What led you to this? Five of Pentacles. What got you in this chair? Maybe you got in an accident on a snowy-ass day or in a storm or some shit. One on this Five of Pentacles. Justice card. Shit, that motherfucker sitting too. Maybe you was born this way. Shit, I don't know. Some got your ass in this shit. We know that for sure, everybody. 
Five of Pentacles. Maybe some man did something to you. I don't know. Left you for dead or some shit. I don't know. Look like it. Look, adjudication and the judge. I don't know. Did they? Let me shut up. I'm going to shut the fuck up because I said I want to talk about you in that motherfucking chair, bitch. But you done pissed me off. And like I said, I was in the middle of watching Empire, about to eat some chocolate chip cookies, bitch. I'm kind of like you, Pam. I like to sit and chill and eat too, bitch. You know what I'm saying? But no, I had to get up and address your motherfucking ass, right? Why you got in this chair? Hmm. Let me put another one with the adjudication card. Now, Pam, if you want to be friends, bitch, you can approach the throne a lot better. Or if you want some more smoke, bitch, then you got to come to me with your face showing, bitch. We don't do that keyboard courage around here. So you decide how you want to keep handling this shit. Or if you just don't want to say nothing, I appreciate that too, bitch, which is what most do, okay? I don't know. I feel like somebody fucked your ass up. Official person. And I feel like somebody, like, decided to... Maybe a doctor fucked your shit up. You know what I'm saying? So what it looked like. Maybe a doctor knew how to thought they knew how to fix some shit with your ass and that shit went totally left, right? And left you maimed or some shit, handicapped. Something went wrong with somebody fucked you over. This wasn't you wasn't born this way. This was the cause of something or someone. Could have been your father, your mama. I don't know if they abused you or some shit. Or maybe your mama was on that dope, you know what I'm saying? And you was born that way or some shit, but bitch. I guarantee I ain't your mama. I guarantee I ain't put you in that wheelchair, bitch. So don't ever come here fucking disrespecting me again. Now, like I said, if you want to be friends, right? We could be friends, Pam. Okay? I hope I answered all your uh, questions, punk bitch. Okay? If you have any more, feel free to fucking email me, bitch. That shit's in my fucking description box. All the nuns are here. They'll definitely take a message for you and deliver it to me. You know what I'm saying? This, I ain't hard. What Tupac say, bitch? I ain't hard to find. You know what I'm saying? And my picture's out there. You can Google me, Cockfrost, C-O-C-K as in King, F as in Frank, R-O-S-T as in Tom. Google me, bitch. You can find my Instagram, everything. You can find out everything about me. And we can handle this shit, like I said, in the middle of the street, wheelchair to wheelchair, and some gangster shit if you want to. No disrespect to anybody in a wheelchair, but I mean, shit. We all got issues, right? We all got ailments, handicaps, ain't nobody perfect. Everybody got body problems and all that shit. So it's not that I got a problem or I'm disrespecting anybody that's handicapped, but the bitch came like the bitch had legs, right? So I'm going to treat the bitch like she got legs. You see, I found out she had, didn't really have, I mean, she got legs. She can't use them, but the bitch can use them because the doctor told Pam, bitch, to walk up and down the driveway. So Pam, I know you ain't that, that handicapped, right? I know that motherfucking ice cream truck roll down the street, bitch. I bet your ass get the fuck up. You ain't fooling me, bitch. I feel like you just crippled. You got some type of like, maybe you got muscular dystrophy or something because that five of pentacles and shit, that motherfucker a little wobble leg with a cane too. So, I mean, it could be some shit like that and doctors tried to fix that shit and made that shit worse. You know what I'm saying? Now you're looking like a, I don't know, just a motherfucking pretzel. I don't fucking know like a fucking twisted breadstick, bitch. I don't know. I just know don't ever come here disrespecting me again, okay, Pam? Okay, beady beat. Okay, like I said, you can follow me on Instagram, though. Please, no photos. P-L-E-A-S-E-N-O-F as in Frank, O-E-T-O-E-S. I'm glad to be your friend, Pam, as long as you put some respect on my name like Birdman said. All right. All right, y'all. Sorry I had to interrupt y'all's night on this fucking free smoke reading. Um, But we can thank Pam for this funny, informative night. Pam, thank you again. Um, and look, look, Pam, look. Dirt. Look, Pam, it's right there under my fingernail, bitch. You see that? Damn. What, you, you gonna come bite it out? <laughs> Pam, you wanna come clean my fingernail? You want to come give me that neck, Pam? You want to be a Miss Solana for my nail, Pam? You already sitting, right, bitch? Anyway, y'all, I'm out. Good looking out. I hope I did, I don't know, maybe Pam a motherfucking service. I don't know, Pam. I don't know. Let me know. Did I help you? Did I what? What? Let me know, bitch. All right, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye.